greetings all in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to fix this error the minimum free disk space has reached for splunk so if you guys prefer reading i will give you a link in the description so that you guys can read through the process that i'm going to follow so i'm gonna i'm going to be using a vm instance in gcp so i'll be showing how to fix that in that case but the the procedure that i'm going to follow is fairly similar in case you're using a local machine let's say you have to do the same concept in your machine so i'm going to, i'm going to use linux so it's going to be same the concept is going to be increasing a space so i think in your local machine you might know how to increase the space so that might be so allocating some space for the splunk so i think it will be very clear once i go through the procedure so let's let's go to, let's go to it so i have an instance up and running which is splunk instance uh, this is the linux instance where the splunk is installed so as i always say in the start of my video if you guys prefer reading i will give a link in the description of this video for you guys to read through the process that i'm going to follow so i have used the credentials to sign in so i'm just signed in the, this is the splunk gui so let's just see the messages so it just says minimum free disk space reached and then if you can see here click this so that's the health so we see a disk space is on red so this means an, it's had a negative uh, influence on the functionality of your deployment so what we're supposed to do if we are in gcp so we can go in here click on the we can actually go and turn off even if we want to so let's say i'm gonna let's just stop for now stop the mission for now So we can go in and we can change the size so that it's increased so i'll just complete this and then so you guys have to do it in your local mission so we can go over here so it says add risk so i believe we're not we cannot do it here so let's just nope i think so let's just go to disks. So this is pretty easy to do. So you can directly click on this. So I think it's ten, as I mentioned, ten there. So let's just click. Let's just click on this. Let's just go and edit, edit it. Click on this edit. Let's just give, let's say, fifty or forty. So I just give fifty. Then click a save. It's 50 so now let's just go back to the vm instances let's go to our vm let's just give a reboot so i believe it's restart okay so this we don't i think we don't need to do this okay so we already have an ssh so now let's just go so the orange so we just start the start okay so this kind of from this one so so we just take so now what we do is to admin so this should basically fix the issue so if it's not then we have to allocate as location for the splunk itself so meaning that the you have to increase the size that the machine has allocated for the splunk so this works so if not we have to go in deep dive deep into the partition so we just go sign in this must be fixed but uh, we still have a message see io weight is done so previously if you see io weight would be there in red so now the disk space is going below this so what you have to do is like you have to in, uh, increase the threshold for this 
this file sp file space so what I'll do is I will give a video but this basically this must fix it so if it doesn't let's just give a restart and check if it doesn't you have to do a file partitioning which I will give a link in the description when that video is ready so let's just give a restart What's that? because I have done it previously So another other thing uh, probably preventing this would be creating a new instance for the Splunk with that increased space. So I have a Splunk here, which is, I think, the disk for that is space for that is Splunk is 50. So even because I already had this problem, I know when to create a Splunk instance, we need to have at least 50 GB. So I created that. So that by default had enough space. So a big problem for that. So it's still there. Okay. It's still there. So the space is allocated. It's not partitioned for the Splunk. So I'll just show you how to partition the space for the Splunk in the upcoming video. See you in that one. Yeah, as you can see, it's still the disk space is not allocated. But if you can see this instance, which I will start now and show you, while created creating this instance, I gave it enough space so that this problem is not solved. But you don't have to worry. I will do another video which will be done and uploaded, and I will add that video's link in this video's end. So that you guys can click that and see how to partition a free space to this Splunk. So hopefully this is turned on. So I'll just SSH into uh, just a quick SSH and then show you guys that this problem is not there because there is already a default 50 GB when creating it. So now the problem is that when I created this, it was 10 GB. So that even that 10 GB was by default automatically partitioned for the Splunk so there is no enough space for the Splunk so now this is getting started on so I believe this is started so I'll just skip it if it's too long so okay there's no need for that this was CPU. So now we'll give the credentials. So as you can see here, it's safe. The disk space is enough and it's functioning properly. So the two thing would be while creating a Splunk instance, you have to give enough space, but I'm pretty sure if you're done that we will not be come to this video to check how to do that so i will do another video on how to allocate the unallocated space to splunk and upload it so catch you in that one guys bye bye